Hello everyone, my name is Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install EUP into your guys' 5M server. I have done a different video on this prior to this video. This is slightly different because so I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it after actually paying for the Citizens FX Collective Patreon. So for some reason, 5M like to gatekeep some features behind a paywall and it kind of sucks. But unfortunately, it's what you have to pay for if you actually want to use EUP in a server that has anything more than 8 slots. So to actually have this access... You guys are going to need to buy the Element Club subscription right here. It's not the actual EUP mod itself that you're paying for. You're paying for the feature that the EUP mod requires, which is this guy right here, which is the Stream Custom Clothing mod. So all you guys are going to want to do, make sure you're logged into Patreon and buy the CFX Element Club subscription. I'm in no way affiliated with this, and nor do I get any bonuses for referring you guys to this. Unfortunately, unfortunately it's just something you guys have to go through in order to get access to custom clothing, and it sucks. I really wish no one had to pay for it. But hit join, buy that, and then the next step is linking it to your cfx.re forums account. This is how you actually make your features unlock in your 5M server. So all you guys want to do, log into your cfx.re, go to your account settings and preferences, and make sure you guys link your Patreon account to your cfx.re account, making sure it's the exact same Patreon account that you paid for the subscription on. Link that, and then the next step is making sure it actually links to your server. By doing so, you're going to need to link it to your cfx.re keys. So log in to your cfx.re key master. That link will be down in the description below. And link your, make sure your cfx.re key master is linked to the same cfx.re account we just linked our Patreon to. And within maybe an hour or so or a couple of minutes, you guys should be able to see at the top, it will say all your server keys are assigned to your 5M Element Club Argentinium subscription bonuses. And then pretty much every single key you currently have active will be linked to your Patreon subscription. So you will now have access to the things we need to make EUP actually work. You don't need to change your server keys. They should automatically update. All you guys might need to do is restart your server. So there's nothing we need to do from here. Once that has linked successfully, we're going to hit the next link down in the description below. I'll bring you guys right here to the native UI Lua, which is a requirement that EUP needs to actually make the menus work. So we're going to download that. Click the source code.zip and open the zip folder on up. And pretty much like every single 5M plugin, I'm going to open that folder. And right here is going to be the thing we put into our server. So I'm going to navigate to our 5M server. Mine's right here. Go to TX data, CFX default, and resources. And now, if you guys want to, this is just a step that I do just to make sure my servers are organized. I have made a dependencies subfolder, which is pretty much any single mod or pretty much every single mod that requires something. In order to make it work, I put those mods inside of here. Inside of here is going to be Rage UI and Native UI since those are needed for some other mods to work. You guys can copy me and you guys can make a subfolder, which is doing two brackets and then calling it whatever you want inside to sort of categorize your mods, or you can just drag and drop them in on their own. It's usually easier to do this since you don't have to ensure as many things. So just grab your Native UI, drag and drop it into your subfolder, and then make sure we have our subfolder in short in our CFG. So we're going to copy our subfolder name or just the native UI name. Go back to CFX default, open up our server.cfg. Now scroll down and make sure that it is in short. So mine's right here. If you haven't insured it, and obviously you would press enter, type in short, and then paste the name of either the subfolder or the mod folder's name. Keep that open for the meantime, because we are going to have to install some other things. In fact, I'm going to open it up with Notepad++. We're going to keep that open and our 5M server open as well. You can close the native UI download and then hit the next download link down in the description below. And this is going to be the EUP mod itself. So there's going to be two things that are required to make EUP work. Right here is going to be the first thing, which is going to be our EUP menu. So download that. Click here. It'll take you to the mega to download it. And hit download and within a couple of seconds it should be finished downloading open that download on up hit back and go back to our emergency uniforms forum head down here just below the eup menu there's going to be a second link for our eup and this is going to be the actual eup files so save that download it and once that's done open that one on up as well and once those are both done it doesn't really matter what order you install them in i'm going to go back to our 5m server Go into our resources folder and yet again we're going to make a subfolder if you guys don't have one already right click new and then brackets eup and then closing brackets and inside of here we're going to go inside of our eup sup download and we're going to drag and drop this folder right here into it eup stream 
very simply drag and drop, just like I already have done here. And the same with our EUP menu. Open it up and at this folder right here, EUP UI, we're going to drag and drop that into our EUP subfolder as well. Go back to resources. We're going to copy our EUP subfolder name, making sure we copy the exact name. Head down here and make sure we ensure our subfolder. You guys can see I've already done it here. So we press enter, type ensure, and then paste it in. If you guys haven't noticed, I have also categorized my server.cfg to make it a little bit easier by giving them subtitles. So to give your CFG subtitles, all you guys need to do, two hashtags, and then whatever you guys want to call the subtitle. The two hashtags basically mean that your server.cfg won't read it as a line of code, so it won't throw you any errors. But anything you put under that hashtag, you guys know what it is. Once you guys have done that, hit file, and then save. Go back to our 5M server, and we're going to launch it just like we usually do. I'm going to show you guys how to use your EUP. And all you guys are going to do, press T, type slash EUP, and just like that, for some reason, it defaults to spinning. You can disable that in the config of the EUP menu if you want. And just like that, here's your EUP menu. Quite similar to GTA 5 story mode EUP. Right at the bottom should be LSPD. Somewhere down here, here it is, LSPD. And you can choose the suits you guys want. Uh, literally any suit, female, male, whatever you guys want. And you can pretty much wear the default clothing. And if you guys wanted to do custom clothing, you can also do that by using pretty much any menu that lets you change your player's appearance. So for, um, for example, the menu, if you go to player related options, MP paired customization, and you create a new character. Or if you didn't want to do that, you can just do player appearance paired customization, and then you can go through changing everything through here. And obviously you can also change your outfits and every single uniform EUP has ever come with, and any mod you also installed to EUP, you can customize through here, because you have now unlocked your cloth streaming, which will then go through your V menu and any other pet customization options as well. And if you guys did want to install some custom uniforms, I have done so as well. There is a tutorial in that, and I'll leave that in the top right-hand corner of the info card. You can click that, and that will show you guys how to install custom uniforms like vests and custom police departments as well. So I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please show sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the channel sponsor down in the description below, Zap Hosting, and use code HYROTROOPER, no capitals or spaces, for 20% off your next product with them. They have tons of servers, pretty much any game server in the world, Minecraft, 25M, 2RedM, any game server you want. Be sure to check them out. They've usually got them. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.